All right, welcome to my channel. Okay, uh, I've had something really cool to share with you. Uh, this is a I've been working on. This is a breather crimp. So if you don't know what a breather crimp is, uh, I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna hold the card right here, on the, the index sides, with your uh, two fingers. And you're gonna put a breather crimp. You have both fingers like this. You're gonna press with your thumbs. Okay. And you're gonna. So basically, it puts like an, uh, an X breather crimp. And this one, I'm gonna do a really exaggerated one. It wouldn't be as exaggerated though. Okay. What that does is it makes it's crimped right into the middle, similar to a crimp X. You should know that that's a standard of breather crimp. But what what I've done with this is a little bit different. Okay. I have a I have the aces, and all I do is when I when I put them in the deck, uh, I'm going to put them in certain places as you can see. I have one uh, tenth from the top, one fifteenth from the top. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll have them in chase so I'll know. Club, heart, spade, and diamond. Okay, so I have this one tenth, this one fifteenth from the top. That's twenty from the top. And I have one, two, three, four, five, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have one tenth, fifteenth, twentieth, and thirtieth. So the aces are, are my key cards, right? What I do is I, I do a force. Okay. You can do a stop force or you can do a classic force. I just do a stop force. You're going to force the, uh, uh, the breather crimp card in this case. Now you're going to spread the cards like this. Okay. Now the reason is when you're spreading the cards is uh, you can actually pencil dot the aces as a little max as well. But you have them put it back wherever they want. Okay. Now, when they put it back in, it doesn't matter because you have the breather crimp, okay? But you're going to try and estimate about where it is, okay? So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to have them name a number. Now, you can just uh, tell by the breather, because uh, when you have the breather, you can tell where it is. You can cut right to it. If you do a one hand cut, you can cut it right to the top, but you're not going to cut it to the top. You see where it actually is, it's, it's here. It's actually right next to the second ace, so I know that it's 19th from the top. Okay, but um, they push it in the deck. You can spread the deck. You can say, "Look, your cards in there. I take it out." You can see where it is real fast. So right now I can see that I've got it 14th from the top because the ace of hearts I know is a 15th from the top, right? So I tell them to name any number one through 52. So if I know it's 14th right now, and I'm going to get a break on it with the uh, crib, let's say they name. Uh, Say the name twenty. Okay, right now it's uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's fourteenth from the top. It's actually fifteenth from the top. So all I have to do is add five cards to it. So here's what I do: I show it's not on the top. I show the top four cards. I show it's not on the bottom. And when I do that, I take five cards as I'm showing it, and I flip this. I flip this over. I set it down. Now it's twentieth from the top. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, I'm going to exaggerate this for this trick because I want to make sure that I can explain it well. So you have this big old breather crimp. You want to have a pretty good breather crimp off. You want to make it a little exaggerated. That's how you brought it 20 to the top. Now, if they said 20, right, and you showed it, you already showed it's not on the top or bottom. You say, I'm not even going to touch the deck. I'm going to show you. Make your magical gestures, whatever you do. Go on your hands. Say, my, my uh, one finger, I don't want to follow this. But what you do is you come over and you kind of have the bevel of the deck. What happens when you do that is it'll go right to the breather, okay? You can see the breather there, okay? So I've got it exaggerated here. And what will happen is you can see the breather there. So you cut right to it with the one finger, right? And Kind of bevel the deck, you can see it. And, uh, you make sure it's there because you, you know, <laughs> you can look and make sure if it's there. If it's not, you can go into house, but it should be there. And it is, right? But you're not going to reveal it yet. You're going to count these cards. They count them. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You go to the 20th card. You take a look at the 20th card. And you turn over and that's that card. So it's, with, it's, it's, uh, it's a really cool effect. Um, I hope you like it. And that is. Uh